Hi and welcome to a look at Participants Database, a WordPress plugin great for volunteer lists, event attendees and other online sign-ups. It's a free WordPress plugin. It allows you to create an online form, collect the information and export those details to a CSV file. You can create a drop-down list pre-populated with the options of your choice. Here it is used for state but you could choose whatever is relevant for your situation. An email field, an opt-in to your mailing list checkbox, radio buttons specific to your event or project, date field. You can add notes and tips to assist the user in understanding how to fill in your form. And then there is the registration button. It's easy to install and customise. Let's go over and take a look at it in our WordPress dashboard. After you've installed it, you will see the plugin in your left side menu items. Up the top, you can see there are six tabs. The first two tabs are of most interest. The first one is the usual contact details. If we scroll down, we can see those same name and address fields we saw live on the site. Here you can see how you can customise the label for the field. In Australia, ZIP is known as postcode and you can see here how it is easily customised to our situation through updating the title of the field. The help text field allows notes and helpful tips to be added. Over on the site you can see where this is. Let's take a look at the drop down list for the state. In this column, form element, most fields have been given the attribute text line, but the state field has been given the attribute drop down list. The values are separated by a comma. The checkbox is equally easy to choose and provides a simple box to tick. You can choose whether the field is mandatory or not by choosing required in the validation column. In the email field, you can go further by also requiring the email to match the format of an email address. This is known as regex match. Google it if you want more info. The CSV column allows you to choose which fields are to be exported for the CS file or Excel spreadsheet. Now over to the fields that are customised to our project. To create these tabs, you add them as a field group. We've used the help text to explain the information we are collecting. We've used radio buttons for many of our fields. We'll demonstrate how to add a field. We're going to add a capture field. Here's an example of some capture fields. You've probably seen them yourself online when you've filled in a form. They add security to your site. So we'll add the field, and when we scroll down, we can see it's been added. We still need to format the field. We'll choose Capture in the Form element. Did you see how it automatically updated other parts of the field attributes? I'll just show you that again. It made the field validated with the Capture functionality. It also made the field active for sign up and read only. Update fields and all done. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the participants database.